Welcome back to Bedrock. The Horde was absolutely devastating. No less than four massive tunnels were carved into the earth despite the base maintaining its functionality. This is a real problem, but every problem has a solution. To start with, we'll be raiding the wasteland today while we wait for construction materials to craft. Then we'll seal the tunnels and install a pad on the surface to deter the diggers. Then we'll continue carving the Horde base into its final form but it's time to get out of this cave and into the blaze. So let's begin. All right, welcome back everyone. And holy crap, have we got some work to do. So I just wanted to check this morning on the forges and make sure that um, while we're out today, we're gonna have to basically just give this all a day to, to work and to uh, craft all the materials that we're gonna need. Over here in the workbench, I'm working on cobblestone cubes and in the cement mixers, I'm working on regular stone blocks so that I can repair all of the damage that's been done around here. And the other change is that um, Alpha 21 stable is out now and the dew collectors are now generating heat i haven't checked quite yet to see how much heat they're generating but with four of them plus the cement mixers now generate heat plus the workbenches now generate heat the campfires going what are you even making a bunch of boiled water okay great and the forges are going so we need to get the hell out of here before we get swarmed by screamers oh and uh before i go though we are gonna need uh, well, a drink and gas for the mini bike. So grab up that. And um, I think we're going to go to the wasteland today. We'll have a wasteland day where we just go and loot and have some fun. We'll check on Bobby and see what his inventory has for us. I don't think we've checked it since he he last restocked on uh, day 22. That was yesterday. So yeah, definitely haven't seen his refreshed inventory. And oh yeah, that's the other thing. The, um, the vehicles now are different first of all this is going way faster than it used to and there's like momentum so if i take my hand off the throttle then um, i sort of coast for a while which is really really cool you know what's interesting though is that they also nerfed the the whole like riding the bicycle backwards when you have a broken leg thing and uh yeah she's she's closed still so have to kind of wait this out so yeah um <laughs> I guess if you've watched me long enough, you've probably seen me ride the bicycle backwards to um, to avoid hurting myself with a broken leg, and that is no more. I, th I think I'll take credit for that one. <laughs> I haven't seen anyone else do that before. Oh, you know what, too? Uh, the other change in 21 Stable that I liked a lot was that there was there's now linear progression of the weapons. So, okay, while I wait for Jen, I'm going to go get the pump shotgun, because the level 2 pump has got to be better than the level five double double barrel by the way they made it sound i want to double check that okay the the double barrel is now doing 16.6 with all its mods and that was like 18 or something when i uh before the the patch we'll go with the duck bill i like that the most toss that on and this is doing 17 okay so quite an upgrade there for us okay but i'll still save the uh dubsy there for a rainy day that hopefully never comes. All right, here we are. Jenny's just gonna check her vending machine and see if she has an eye candy. No, she does not. Huh? That's unlucky. Well. So, wow, I didn't. Oh, think you had uh, our quest reward for the infestation that we did recently. Very nice. Cool. Okay, some extra money and, wow, attack assault rifle. I mean, there's nothing else here that's really appealing to me. I'm gonna go with attack AR because that'll help us out a bunch on Horde Knight, give us a way to use up some 762. And I'll grab a job for, well, I don't think I'll do it today because today's wasteland day, but um, okay. So infested jobs have like kind of by far the best rewards, but I do kind of want to see some of the regular tier fours. So tower construction site, uh, that's the builder bro place. <laughs> I don't know about that. Clear zombies. Need some work? Mortician's house. Good life apartments. Oh, that place is uh, hell. And St. Moe's Cathedral. To... Oh, let's do that oh, at some point. Yeah, one. because that has a lot of books long. in it. We're still looking for that urban combat book for the cigar. Oh, Jenny, you, you weren't selling that cigar, were you? I uh, misspoke. Well, I didn't misspeak, but they've changed the uh, cigar. It used to be rare medicine, and now it is considered an armor mod. So really, Trader Joel is your guy uh, you for that. So soon? Trader Joel has like four to six extra armor mods. Uh, speaking of that... I just did my um, my bartering video, and so if you want to learn more about traders and how to predict their inventory, and, and you can use the um, the trader stage calculator that's built into that, I'll um, I'll see if I can remember to put a link in the description, kind of like permanently for the loot stage calculator and for the trader stage calculator that I've built. Okay, anyway, we are heading to the wasteland. We gotta check on Bobby real quick, check his vending machine, and then we'll do um, a couple of just you know not jobs, but like you know tier four tier three uh pois out there i'll meet you there see what happens if i hit this mutated zombie just for the fun of it <laughs> nice 
Oh boy. Oh, I'm getting chased now. All right, I can test out the new pump shotgun. Oh, bleeding already. Great. Well, use a first aid kit. It's all I brought. That was not very wise. Should have brought some regular bandages. I'm sure I'll find some at some point here in a second. There we go. Whoop, another one. Oh, radiation. Okay, that's fine. I got plenty of hit points rolling in. Jeez, man. Well, I can't complain. I literally asked for this. <laughs> I came here intentionally. All right, buddy. Hold still for a second. Nice jump. Impressive. Big Mama's got better jumps than you. Okay, Bobby. Yes, gotta check your vending machine. I would do some jobs for him, but, you know, we'd never get anything of a good reward. All right, well, check his inventory. He doesn't have any um, eye candies. I was hoping I could do kind of a big looting run out here today, but um, that will not be the case. He's got an impact driver, though, which means our trader stage is far enough along that we're into the rare tools and stuff like the highest tier of items he does have some electrical trap magazines that'll get us incrementally closer to being able to craft our own we have to get 50 to get the um shotgun turret and that's 36 right there not ideal so in this town let's uh let's go to the top of that tower and see what's in this town there's zombies up here ah there are get out of here how about some breakfast oh my goodness excellent breakfast Oh my, a radiated gop up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, I don't like this at all. Get back, ah, oh geez. Okay, okay, that was uh, not not expected at all. Z-Bark here, wow. Okay, well the question then is, who's waiting for me at the top? Anybody? No, we're good. Oh, military chest. How about some 762? There we go. Let's see then. Um, what can we do here? We can kind of rearrange things so that I can have the TAC AR with me on the hot bar. Why not? I mean, we are in the wasteland, so we need all the help we can get. Oh, and the whole reason we came up here, <laughs> my bad, was to survey the area a little bit. So there's Butcher Pete's right there. We'll do that. That's a tier four. Uh, tier 3 at the Bear Den, uh, otherwise, oh, that's the NPD, we could do that. And, uh, just a kind of a smattering of residential areas, uh, oh, that's the checkpoint over there. Is that, uh, Tier 3? I don't know, I kind of want to check that place out, I've never been there. Okay, so we have a lot of good options, let's go check out Butcher Pete's first. This is the spot, man. It's been a long, long time since I've been here. So this be, should be completely new. Didn't you used to have to go in through the basement or something? Uh, what do we got here? We got a couple of just regulars. Uh, that's Wags actually right there. Feral. Whoops. Still getting used to the crossbow here. There we go. Come on out here, Arlene. Oh yeah, front door's wide open. Okay, definitely not gonna be like, uh, I'm not in a shelf searching type of mood. I kind of want to just get to the good stuff, you know? All right, here we go, heading up to the second level already. Who's waiting for me up here? A radiated cop, two rads, what? Okay, well, I'm gonna soften them up the best I can over there. Ooh, that, that was a bad throw. Is that an, also a tourist over there? Can't quite tell. All right, that should loosen them up a little bit. Good, and I, oh yeah, it was the uh, several zombies over here. Ow. Spitting, spitting, nope, don't let him do it. Oh, I would prefer to get the kill myself. Ah, that's not gonna happen. Let him blow. All right, we're good. Sort of, I've attracted some attention from outside, it sounds like. Steven, and businessman, and burnt boy. Okay, so that's what we have to look forward to here then. Great, yep, there's a dog pen in there, a dog uh, crate. Usually that means dogs. There he is. Oh, Feral White, oh, he ran right by me. Oh my goodness. There we go. Got a bird somewhere. It's gonna annoy the crap out of me until I go out and kill him. So yeah, let's just go do that. Got him. Okay, there we go. We're into the gun safe. Couple of bits and pieces there. <laughs> Garbage, basically. Yeah, already had the wood splitter mod. All right, well, up to the attic. Is it, oh, here we go. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I see how it is. Well, we don't want this in our way, do we? Not at all. Get rid of that. Yep, that's where the cop blew up right there. <laughs> What is this, wood? Yeah, just wood. Oh, is there anything I can do? Well, I can juice up on some yucca smoothie stuff and that'll give me a little bit more stamina and we could do the sham chowder for fortitude, max stamina bonus and food and water. Yeah, let's do that. Gives me some hit points to roll in too. 
This is unlocked. Okay. Oh, here they are. Yep. Got. Okay. Here they. I've. Have I triggered them? Yep. Oh, there's one. Oh, oh crap. Oh boy. There we go. That helps, I guess. Wow. Okay. Can I? Oh, I can't get out of here. I can't get out. I can't get out. Oh boy. Nope. The loot's all gone. The loot has been completely. Nope. The wait. The loot's in there. Holy crap. Wow. Oh geez. I need to get a heart monitor. <laughs> Because uh, my heart rate now just shot up by like a hundred percent. Okay, what was all this stuff? Okay, Paul, what all blew up here? I didn't even see what was here. I just saw barrels and instinctively fired. And this is the exit right here, right? Ah, thank goodness. Oh, look, a convenient ambulance. I didn't even take a hit though. Unscathed. Is this any good loot here? Uh, this I've seen better. There might have been better loot out there, and I I blew it all up. All right, I wish I had an eye candy for this, because this will be the best loot we've seen so far. Ah, okay. Well, treasure map. Eh, okay, some 762. We'll hope for better on the next one, I guess. Okay, so we are on to the next one, then. Let's do... Wasn't the bear den, like, right across the street? Let's do the bear den. All right, here it is. This one should be a tier three, I think. And is it is it just like it was before? I've heard that things have changed here, so I'm curious to see what's going on. Oh, rad's going on. I didn't even see who that was. Killed him so fast. This is Dark Sun over here, and ow! I don't know who that was either. All right, same general principle here. Not really, oh, I'm like hurting pretty bad right now. Should I take a first aid kit? Oh, that reminds me of the cold beer sign. So I, um. I was talking about making a mod so that I can get all the decorations, like the um, the candy posters and stuff, and I've done that, so if we see candy posters, I should just be able to, like, pick it up off the wall. No problem. Don't need to craft it, don't need to, you know, harvest it or anything, just kind of pick it right up, and then I can bring them home for decoration. Is this where I'm so supposed to go now? Is this, this a little bit different? What about this? Just a way out the back, I guess? Yeah, but I think what we have to do now is go up the elevator this time. A little bit different and does that go straight up to level three? Oh, that's the rooftop Right, okay, because the one below us is where the bears are. All right, who's out here? Just kind of run on out Here we go Okay, I was uh, prepared for worse, but it looks like it was just that one guy. Okay, there's the bear cage right there At least one of them. Here's the loot couple of zombies. I don't see any rads though And there's the other bear cage All right, how do I get down there? Oh, yes. Yes. Yes right here. Yep, then jump right in. Oh, to the back porch. Okay, this is all familiar. I see how it is now. Wow, okay. Can I see the other bear? I can see the one bear at least. Yeah, they've made this all like very open concept. So it's gonna be really hard to like pin the bear like it used to be. It used to be really easy to just kind of like hide in a room and kind of build it off a little bit. Oh crap, I put the 762 away. My bad. I should have enough to at least kill it, though. And I brought one zombie over. Oh, he doesn't look like he can get out of the cage, actually. That's interesting. Kind of a huge nerf, because they used to be able to just kind of run straight at you. Maybe that's, like, weakened enough so that he's eventually going to break right through. All right, well, at this rate, it's going to take ages. Here, let's see. If, is the other one trapped in there, too? I think he is. Yeah, we'll get the good sneak damage on him. Prepare to run if I have to. But no, this is, um, this is way more tame than I was expecting. And the biker? Yep, okay, this is not gonna take very long at all. Oops, ow. Who's that, Axel? Get rid of him. Oh, no, okay, one bear is free! Close that. Can you make it through there easily? Yep, oh, I guess not. There we go. Okay, at least get the steroids. Okay, he has broken through. Okay, here we go. He should be sufficiently weakened, I think. There we go. Okay, so that wasn't too, too bad. But let's loot up and see if we can do at least one more before nightfall. Oh, nice magnum there. Plus, I get the 5% discount now if I'm holding the magnum. So that's good to have. Okay, and the main chest. Ooh, I don't need triple mods, but uh, okay, I'll take it. 
Okay, I think that just about does it for this place, and we can just exit out this way. Oh, bear rug! Ah, I need to make that so I can take that, and then I'll have to remember that it's here so I can come and get it. Haha, <laughs> that's cool. That should just be like a droppable item from a bear. How cool would that be? All right, let's stash up. Okay, getting full too, so, all right. Let's see what else we can find in town here. Oh, a bowling alley. Balls strike bowling. There's an ATM out there too. I will definitely have that. Where's this bird? Ugh. Oh, and then there's the NPD. Okay, I definitely need to go inside and see what NPD is all about. First though, what is this anyway? Can I see what this is? It's a uh, tier three, tier three, okay. First try, how much are you gonna get? 900 bucks, okay, NPD it is. Here's the front door right here. I guess we're heading straight in. Take all the literature I can get though. Oh, I thought, oh, I was gonna say, I was like, I thought the vending machine was a rad and then there's a rad right next to it. Okay, I need to pull him out though because uh, I don't want to blow those vending machines if I can avoid it. Oh, he's bringing the sink with him. He's throwing everything, including the kitchen sink at me. All right, making a real mess around here. It's Angus McKinnon. Got the knockdown. While he's down, see if I can kill him. There we go. Might get an eye candy out of here. Yes. Okay, and then, you know, I've basically been informed that the, the trick really is just open it, you axe it. You, Roxy, damn it. Trying to show off my looting skills. Yeah, you just, you know, open it, close it, then you, you slash it, and then you pick up all the loot out of the bag, basically is how that should work. That's the most efficient way anyway. <gasps> There's the loot. Oh, yes. Oh, I see a rad in there too. I think it's, yeah, rad Marlene. No problem there, okay. And painkiller. Okay, shouldn't there be like a bunch of dogs around here? Cause cops, you know, have, have canine service units, you know? There's a police car. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, there's another one over there. I'm not gonna open those. I'll just open them the, the classic way, you know, the lock picking way. And there's a bear outside trying to get me. Great. And what do we get here? Just some ammo, basically. That's cool, I'll take that. And there's a cop in there. I don't think this is the way I'm supposed to go. I think that's probably the exit. Probably supposed to go, yeah, this way. And down. Here we go, another really nice magnum. And my grave digger, finally! Wow, that's a good find. Cool, so that means I can go back to the tier six. You know what, it doesn't even use that much stamina to use the, the steel one that we have, so it's not really a big deal. I am gonna go stash my stuff over here though. All right, I suspect we are heading for the big fight now. Oh, yep, here's the dogs, oh. Who's waiting for me in, oh. Oh, that's how you get to the rooftop, I guess. Was there just nothing else here or? Nothing in, oh, another ladder to the rooftop, I see. Okay, let's do it. All right, nothing going on up here. I guess we're just heading back down. And, oh, the jail cells. Oh, the main loot. Okay, we're in the right spot, that's for sure. The question is, who's waiting for me here? You know what I'm gonna do? Is, I'm gonna lay a trap, because uh, certainly, the zombies are here somewhere. Yeah, there's no sense in sneaking, because they're, they're just gonna trigger here any second. Any second now. Yep, here they are. <laughs> I found them. Okay, close that. And, oh, they can go right straight through those, I, I think, I guess. Yeah, that's not much of a door at all, is it? She just squeaked right through. They, yep, they can all just do that. Okay. Well, I got the high ground. Oh, I'm stunned. The high ground has failed me. I got a concussion. I do, I think, have a painkiller back in the bike, though. However, I do think that we're just about done here. Let's loot up. Jeez, nothing much so far. Just a whole bunch of junk, as per the usual. There's a painkiller for me. Oh, nice steel helmet. There we go. That made it all pretty much worth it today. All right. Whoa, jeez, I didn't even see that bear there. Wow. My bad. Um, yeah, it's raining out now, and uh, speaking of that, I have finally packaged up my weather mod, so if you want to play 
in a in a scenario where the wasteland has a clear blue sky and where it rains significantly less often you can go ahead and download that it's in the description full disclosure that was a, a mod that i downloaded a long long time ago called clear skies weather of the apocalypse and i just made my own custom modifications to that mod and i've repackaged it up and it's for you i didn't make the whole thing myself though all right quite a fruitful day in the wasteland but it's time to head home and work on base building and trying to get that place all fixed up i'll meet you there all right we're safe and sound back at the base and i just noticed something quite interesting to me anyway and that is that my steel helmet here has four mod slots um so it's quality five. This is quality five here, but this only has the three mod slots. So I'm not sure. I did um, I did read that in the patch notes for a 21 stable, but um, I'm not sure exactly how that works just yet. I haven't had time quite yet to dig into the files and see what's going on there. Where is that treasure map taking me though? Oh, opening trade routes over here, but that said it was Trader Bob to the Southwest. That's another Trader Bob out there? My goodness. Wow, we got two Trader Bobs. That, um, we might need to make a trip out there because if uh, that's where we're going to get like SMG turrets and stuff like that. Now, where was the tre treasure map there? Wait, quest, treasure map, set that as active and uh, wait, it just says nearby. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? I've run into this problem before. I don't think that um, like if I log out and I log back in, I think that it actually tells me where it is. But for now, it's just nearby, I guess. We gotta wait until it uh, it comes to us, right? Uh, anyway, let's um, yeah, let's see what we got here. We've got a whole bunch cobblestone cube shapes. I should have a few more up top here, and I should have all of the stone that we need to hopefully do the big patchwork job. Oh, and the last thing I wanted to check down here was the garden because. Yeah, the dew collectors are still rolling. Ugh. Okay, so that's generating heat. We're going to get screamers down here eventually. All right, it's going to be a long and arduous task and really not exciting at all. So I'm going to just hop up topside and see if I can start filling in all these massive gaps. You know, I had a lot of people comment that they were like, uh, I was going to build a bedrock base until I saw your video. And now there's no way I'm going to build a bedrock base. And man, honestly, I have to agree with that. If I knew what I know now about the new zombie pathing and, and how they just go into this destructive digging mode no matter what. Uh, I don't know if I would have done this either. I think that, um, I don't think that bedrock bases confer any massive bonus, so I don't know why they would go out of their way to nerf it like that, but you know, that's the world we live in, I guess. I just like trying to do different things than the, the typical old tower base, you know, big tower with a walkway leading up. It's It seems like it's the only way. I mean, anytime you try to do something different, you just discover some sort of a game mechanic that's preventing you from doing that. A lot of people criticize the fun pimps. I mean, I understand that they're trying to like make a dynamic enemy and I do agree with, you know, having zombies kind of randomly go into some destructive mode. I do like that, but it's just, you know, you have to adapt. We have to kind of relearn the system and come up with a new strategy. I've had a lot of people leaving suggestions for how we're going to prevent the zombies from digging, and I'll just come out and say it right now. They're going to dig. There's no preventing it. It's just a matter of withstanding the digging from now on. In the past, th the big hurdle for me initially when I started coming up with bedrock-based designs was preventing the digging to just get them to follow a, a, a preordained pathway, but that system no longer works. They're going to dig no matter what. We just have to find ways to sustain it, at least for the six hours of Horde Night. How's that for a ninja move? Okay, that pretty much does it there, but the work has only just begun, because now the big step is going to be to dig up this top layer of sand and clay and replace it with cobblestone, which eventually will then need to be upgraded to concrete. And I might, might even need to double layer it because what happens is like a zombie's gonna spawn over here on Horde Night and they're gonna run up here and then they're gonna stop at a certain distance. It's actually a set distance away from the character and then they're gonna dig for like 15 seconds and you know, however far they get down is, you know, whatever. And then they're gonna get up and say, okay, nope, now I'm gonna take the regular pathway and they're gonna jump down the hole. But if they end up digging down far enough, first of all, they can get stuck and secondly, they can get below this point here and if any zombie gets below this point all other zombies will then go to that point so the other trick that we need to do here is to give them another step down mechanism so they're going to step down to this one and then they're going to see that they can step down to another one so let's see that's one two three four five six seven i think 
or I'm, this is about as far as I'm comfortable going down, right about here. So that's going to be right there. And for this one, I'm going to use a different block. This will actually be the first block that I ever use. It, I called it the cookie plate, and it's going to be just like that. And so what they're going to do is they're going to jump down to this one, and then they're going to be like, oh, I can just jump down to that one now. And then maybe even we put another one even further down. So even if they start digging really, really deep, not all of the zombies will kind of reroute into the tunnel. Most of them will still go down this traditional pathway here. All right, more on that later. I'm in the mood to dig right now. All right, I have a total of 571 cobblestone cubes. All right, let's clear this place out after I get some water. I'm kind of thirsty. All right, and just as the sun comes back out, we are done. Well, we're far from done, but we're done for today at least, and we've lost half the day, but the good news is it should make for a pretty killer time lapse. What I'm gonna do now is just get everything ready for the mission, whatever that was, that tier four clear over there, and I'll just meet you over there. It was Moe's Cathedral. Yes, I'd forgotten what it was. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, whoa! Feral white boy. Ugh, it gets a little stuttery over here in the downtown district. Maybe it'll be better once we get inside. Let me just check these mailboxes here. Oh, empty. Already been here before, I guess. All right, I think we're good to go. I'm gonna just give this a quick log out, log back in. Usually that gives me a slight, like, boost to my frame rate. Uh, feels a little bit better. I logged out my cameraman too. Sometimes that helps a little bit. Ooh, gas valve. That does not go to anything though, I don't think. You think we need some more stone? <laughs> Should we get the stone while we're here? 80 stone a pop. It's not too bad, actually. Okay, so have I been here since everything's changed? No, no, I have definitely not been here and seen all the new stuff. Oop, we have a cop here somewhere? Okay, I need to take care of that if that's gonna- Oh, here we go. Hello there. All clear. Okay, is this still the same trap? Oh, of course it is. I'll go the traditional way. Whoa, hello there. Okay, um, not liking the looks of the bookshelves. These are the different bookshelves. Does that matter? Let's check this loot here. Oh, that's a good sledgehammer there. I already have a tier six back home anyway. Okay, are these the books that we want? That's so far so good, I guess. Oh yeah, not bad at all. I think this is the last one right here for a forge ahead book. Yep, I think we're all good. Well, oh, there's the, ah, the hidden stash, right. It's a little, is it different? It feels a little bit different than it used to be. What do I do? I can just break this glass. Oh, that's cool. For a scrapping magazine. Wow, hidden stashes are either complete gold or complete rubbish. Okay, so I did get a fair amount of magazines out of this place. That unlocked sensors and cooking pot landmine. That was it. We press on. I do, I think, don't I have the book where I can get precious gems out of coffins? I might have to, I have to reread the book. I don't even really remember what that book was all about. Harvest coffins for bones, jewelry, and precious gems. Let's see how that works. Oh, yeah, I got a silver nugget out of that one. Okay, guess we're gonna go through here then. Well, I got a gold nugget and I got that one silver nugget early on and that was it. Hey, better than nothing, I guess, right? I think we're heading up this way. Rad. Whoop. Oh, little glancing blow. Not good. Sledgehammer for the win, though. Best weapon in the game. All right. Let's try our luck on these two. Nothing. And whoops. Almost broke that before I looted it. Not that it had anything good in it, but what that one? No, nope, no luck. Okay, so it's very low chance then, it seems. Oh, barrel biker. Covert lettuce. I have just enough stamina to, to beat my way through a feral biker. Okay, are we up to... Oh, this level here, right, okay. Wait, don't I recall that... Uh, yeah, these chandeliers, I think, are made out of steel. A little bit. Okay, I, I'm, I think I'm back on, like, the traditional route right now. I do recall all of these places. Where's all these zombies, though? Get down from there. Okay, I have 
I don't really know where I'm going now. Am I going to the... To oh, yeah, this is the balcony over here? Yes. Okay, here we go. Starting to get a little bit late, but after this big fight here, I don't think there's much left. And it looks like we're uh, in for at least two rads. And those are pretty much all ferals down there. Oh, geez, hopefully I've got enough stealth for this. Oh, yes, it's gonna work. I could just pick them all off. Whoops, nope, I missed and I woke a bunch up. Damn it. Yeah, I forgot there's no drop on these. Let's see if I can just get the sneak attack in on them before the rest of them, whoop, come upstairs. Look out, come on, just get the headshot. There we go. Oh, another one. No, is it the same one? I just knocked him off and he came back around. Oh yeah, the rads are awake. Here they come. See if I can get a good group knock down there, perfect. Yep, all right, time to switch over to the firearms, I think. Here we go. Oh yeah, no problem. Ooh, look at this feral crawler. Ooh. I really like that they finally increased the crawl speed. All right, well, that was way less eventful than it usually is. You, usually, I don't think you can get the drop on them like that, like I just did. All right, there should always be a wall safe right here. What do we get here? You know what? Probably a good time for me to take that eye candy, I think. We're gonna be at the main loot here in no time, really. And, oh, nothing. Should really be just saving the eye candies for the wasteland and just try to head out there once a week, but you know, whatever. Whoop, almost let him blow. Not quite though. Carry Haley here. Nope, I don't think so. Okay, and then we've got birds and then we're done, I think, right? Usually how it goes. Yep, mission complete. And here's the main loot. First try too, nice. Well, let's see what we get in here. Ah, man, another grave digger mod. When it rains, it pours, right? Dukes. Are there usually dukes in hardened chests? I feel like that's the first time I've seen that. And the medical stuff. That's it for this place then. All right, I've got the dukes, so falling off the rooftop here shouldn't be any problem at all. Well, let's just race over to Jen's, get our reward, and then we'll call it a night. Oh, geez, hold on a second. I just snuck into this POI here, the buy and go apartments. There's a vending machine here. Mm, crap. Really nothing that I need in there, though. I'm gonna mark that one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here's our stuff. Yes. Oh, no, inventory's full. Crap. Scrap that. Take that. Oh, geez, more chip signs. Get out of here. All right. I'm gonna stock up on decorations while I'm here. Okay, we got prime bars. We have nachos. Barbecue chips. Oh my goodness, two working vending machines here. Yes, definitely mark this. All right, cool. Oh, we got some more. Oh, there's an eye candy poster over there. Yes, 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 gimme, gimme. And there's also this barbecue sauce or whatever that was. Oh yes, nice. Whoa, look out, man, jeez. Ah, crap, we ran out of time. Not gonna be able to get the reward from Jen. And that's fine, I'll pick it up tomorrow morning when I head over for a new job from Jen to do tomorrow. For tonight, though, there's still a whole bunch of work left to be done. I think what I'd like to do is sort of get our fighting room into like just kind of carve through the stone a little bit get it into its final configuration and then we can start working on um, you know more cobblestone and concrete mix and everything else but have a look at this it looks pretty good up here so far still gonna pull this over pretty much to here i i guess i mean i think the width is uh, well we gotta go another it looks like I don't know, six blocks in this direction, maybe eight. Yeah, we'll pull it out eight blocks this way. I think we're probably good this way, eight blocks that way, and then we'll go probably another 25 blocks that way. But let me get this stuff organized and we'll get the night project started. Okay, what do you think of the decoration so far? I promise we'll make something that's like a little bit better, but I just needed to get this stuff out of my inventory for now. Uh, okay, so the project for today then is uh, we gotta get the beltway around this fighting room all set up. Yeah, I'd say this is wide enough right here. If I just um, put these in, and we'll get another three by three door to slide right in here. And uh, a few people suggested that we need to put a ceiling in here. We need to kind of enclose ourselves in. And so I think that will be one of the additional goals for the next horde. But um, okay, it's a, this is gonna be a bit of a process. Okay, so this actually, I think this is where a ramp is going to start going up for, okay. That's gonna be the same thing on that side, and we gotta like pull this up by two blocks, wrap it all around, and link it up to this side. All right. 
right, that was the last block right there. And now we have a nice sort of like, I don't know what you'd call it. I'm going to call it the beltway around the fighting position. And in a multiplayer scenario, this is where your buddies can come around and throw Molotovs and everything down. We'll set up some sort of a block system to kind of, you know, make a wall. And I think I'll probably make this um, probably three blocks tall total. So we'll have to peel off another layer here on the ceiling. And then we'll somehow connect that all to this nice and flush. But that's going to have to do it for this episode. We'll pick things up again in a couple of hours. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a what the hell is this here? That, that's wrong. Yep, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.